Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Sprocket. Today we're starting a video a little bit differently. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of experimentation here uh, and that is because we've had someone suggest uh, that I build a tank with... Uh, what tank is it? Hang on. I think it's really famous on the Type 74 but it, it's the hydro pneumatic suspension that goes side to side and so in order to do that we're going to need a turret that's kind of mounted on the front of the tank and I'm not entirely sure how that is going to play with aiming uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put a I'm, I'm just going to shape this to be a, a, a box hull and then we're going to put another turret on top of this okay and then if I put another turret on here uh, and then we need to put a gun on this bad boy so let's just go with I don't know Panzer 2 why not uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, does that have a gun of sight in it? I think it does. Um, yeah. And uh, now you can see our hull will rock. <laughs> well, we'll add some constraints to it. Maybe that'll help. Let's say literally like five degrees either way is our limit. And then, I mean, hmm. <laughs> Hmm. It's a bit odd. It's a bit odd. Uh, it doesn't prioritize being in the center, is the thing. So if I go to the side, you see now it's going to do that. But in, in theory, we wouldn't need it to do that. We're going to have elevation and depression on the actual gun itself. But is that a bad thing? Let's see if we can put this into an actual tank. And let's see if it's functional in any way, shape, or form. Because it, it could be cool. <laughs> if you thought you were going to go a whole video without a speedy up fast buildy fast speedy bit, uh, been a while since I called it that, um, you were wrong. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, we are now fast forward watching the tank being constructed. Yes, uh, we, we, we just go ahead and, and build the whole thing now. You've seen how it works in principle, uh, and now it's time to do the designy bit, and uh, I would just like to apologize now. Uh, there may be a slight lack of energy throughout this video, because I am in the midst of dying uh, of a cold. So that's the reason why <laughs> the intro to this video may have been a little bit non-energetic. And uh, But yeah, uh, hopefully the topic uh, keeps you interested at the very least. Um, but yes, I'm I am on the path to recovery. So shortly, I will be back to my usual self, making terrible, terrible YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, for now, <laughs> slightly delirious talking about a tank. So my main inspiration for this thing was just the Type seventy four. Um, obviously, there's a couple of differences. Um, most notably, the turret looks very dis distant from it but also like you can kind of see uh that it's it's the same kind of vibe uh but the reason for that i tried to make a more similar turret which is the one that i'm currently putting on uh, and it just looked awful i'm so bad at like making cast shapes that look good uh so i just went back to my old turret that i made on stream a while ago for the uh like american m41 light tank looking thing and uh, just stole that because it, it it was just a much better turret and i just kind of tweaked it to, to fit this tank a little bit more but yeah i mean this this turret just looked awful i <laughs> i was not a huge fan of this one hey you know there were there were elements of niceness to it um and I think all in all, probably better constructed than the 209 turret, which is the one that you can see right now. Uh, but, you know, ah well, uh, it, it wasn't working. Maybe one day I'll, I'll come up with another turret for a <laughs> for a Cold War American kind of design, but uh, not, not today, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, we slapped on a 105mm gun onto this thing, which is enough. Uh, definitely not the best gun in the universe, you know, uh, 120 might have been better. 90 mil might have been more fitting, but uh, 105 it is. It's it's in between those two values, and uh, yeah, I mean, it it works. It, it fires shells. <laughs> <laughs> Turret aside, I am actually really happy with the hull of this thing. I think it looks really cool, and I like how 
the way the tracks dip in the middle and they they don't have any return rollers and then you've got the bits of the hull which kind of slot into that gap when they tip down and stuff i think it, i think it's neat you know i i generally think it's a kind of neat hull i think it's a neat idea in general unfortunately as you're about to see uh, in the gameplay section sprocket is very 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 not designed for this uh, it really really isn't a fan <laughs> of this suspension so it works a little bit odd um and frankly i don't think it's practical in any stretch of the imagination but it's fun to take screenshots where your tank is you know tilting its hydro pneumatic suspension so if nothing else it makes for cool screenshots anyway uh to the gameplay yeah okay i've designed the thing to go on top of the the the, the principle and and what i've actually done is uh so I, obviously at the start i showed you that i put a turret sideways this is that sideways turret so this is entirely contained within the original hull this rotates either side and then i can actually have the hull on another turret on top of that so in theory if i remove the constraints obviously this is constrained to zero zero if i this could rotate uh, i could have a rotating hull but that means i could uh, still uh, you know edit this without it thinking it's sideways uh that's the only reason i do it also means that technically it's like a booster it goes faster now um but you can see how much internal space we have in this thing because of how many different compartments are clipped inside of one another uh but at the end only weighs about 30 tons and uh we've got a 105 millimeter gun i've stolen the turret off my 209 because that was i tried i tried to make a new turret it just wasn't working it looked bad you probably saw that in in the fast forward bit if you didn't you can go see how bad that looked that was a bad turret anyway i've stolen an old one <laughs> uh and yeah i mean it works right so oh look i i i need to aim over this hill i need more gun depression over this hill and then look the hull is is doing this and it, oh it, oh oh no it's sl does it oh it doesn't Oh, it ever so slightly clips the hull, I think. Oh, and it clips the fender as well. Oh, yeah, well, it's close enough. Uh, it's close enough. I, I'll, I'll just limit it to four degrees rather than five degrees, and then we're good. Uh, but, yeah, like, it works. Um, it's just <laughs> aiming any side-to-side -side movement does it. So it kind of looks a little bit goofy, and the only way you can really <laughs> stop it from looking goofy when you're just driving forwards is if you hold middle mouse when you're going places. So uh, I'll make an effort to do that so the tank doesn't look wonky the whole video, because I'm sure that would annoy you, but uh, I mean, it works, technically. Um, you can argue in the comments about the combat benefit of this. I don't think it's a lot in Sprocket, to be entirely honest. I don't think you should really do this, but if you've got any ideas of how to make this a, a, an actual beneficial system, feel free to, to, to do this to your tanks. Uh, it's just that I probably won't be doing this <laughs> in the future. It's a lot more work for uh, not a lot of benefit. <laughs> And now it's time to see if this thing is any good in combat. <laughs> I mean, it's got quite a lot of the bookmarks of a decent tank. Uh, we've got fairly decent hull armor, uh, and the turret is trolly, at the very least, if not particularly thick everywhere. Uh, so in theory, it shouldn't be the worst tank, and we do have very good gun depression, both over the front and even more over the side. So, you know, we should be able to peek and uh, get shots off quite easily. Aiming this thing, though, could be a little bit challenging. Oh, that's a shame. We we can go through the turret of that Tiger II. We're never going to go through the hull, so I want to aim... Oh, no, I've hit the hill. I want to aim for that cheek there. He can see me. Oh, yep, we got him. We got him. Uh, <laughs> that was a good start. Uh, we've lost two of my allies at the cost of three enemies. Uh, oh, okay, he was already dead. Uh, where are the enemies that are still alive is the question. I saw a shot whiff over my turret a second ago, but I have no idea where it's from. Ah, oh, that's a king tiger. Just killed my remaining ally. I'm all on my lonesome now, and I'm driving out in the open. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's taking out my engine. Uh, oh, goodness me. Oh, I, I should have seen that. <laughs> 
Okay, we've added a little bit more armor, so hopefully now our turret will withstand Tiger 2 shots a little bit more, because we... It's, it's kind of hard to get that uh, Tiger 2 mantlet guaranteed, and, and getting that shot takes long enough that they tend to be able to put one back into us, which is not great. These Super Cromwells, though, might be a little bit of an easier enemy, because I don't think... They spawn the Super Cromwell with the Tiger 2. I think it tends to just be six Super Cromwells. Uh, let's find out, though. I've driven out into the open because there was a big dip. And now I'm feeling like a bit of a big dip, uh, to be honest. Oh, goodness me. There's so many... I'm, I'm so bad <laughs> on this level for seeing anything. I'm just blind. Uh, there's a Tiger 2 there. Can we make him shoot trees? No. Oh, that's bad. I think we might be done for here. Uh, I guess. No, oh, that's not not helped. Uh, those tiger twos are so scary. <laughs> oh goodness me! There he is. Uh, you see, he's just behind all those trees. I can't hit him. Uh, anywhere that actually counts. No! Don't, don't go backwards! I finally get a shot! <laughs> he maneuvers! Oh my gosh! The AI being competent, that is, that's not meant to happen there. Uh, oh goodness me, he is like at the perfect angle right now but for me to not go through anywhere. Uh, obviously... Wait, what? Where's he gone? It's not that one, is it? He's not dead. He's vanished! He must have gone behind the hill. Uh, there's a Super Cromwell. Oh, I don't have enough depression for that. And there's the Tiger 2. I knew he went behind the hill. I knew you didn't just vanish. Uh, oh god. What do we do here? I think we just wait for the uh, Super Cromwell to come up over the hill. Yeah, there's that one de dealt with. I want to get that King Tiger. I want to use this sideways gun depression we have here, but that means trying not to expose my hull armor here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and yeah, okay, we only lost one tank, so that's not a bad showing, I guess. Uh, we'll see how it does on defense. I think it'll be a little bit better there, to be honest. Okie dokie, we have six enemies and six friendlies, and uh, what we're going to do is do this one, and then once we're done here, I'm gonna see if the AI can actually use this thing, because I'm a little bit dubious. Okay, I got the APHE loaded, so I really want the side of enemies here, because uh, our gun doesn't actually have all that much penetration. And that is looking good. Oh, not quite. We were only like four millimeters short. Uh, we'll try again, now that his angle has closed a bit. There we go. <laughs> It's a lot better. It looks like, actually, the AI is using it properly, because my allies have just killed a couple of tanks, and uh, speaking of killing tanks, that Centurion has popped quite nicely. <laughs> There's another Salamander. Oh, what a shot. And then this Centurion, who has seen me, but hopefully we can fire before he gets a shot. Uh, and the last enemy, I knew they were over there somewhere, is that Salamander. Oh, that is, that's awkward. <laughs> Oh, someone, someone got his engine. Right. There we go. Uh, let's see if this thing can hold a candle to my previous, like, uh, Cold War MBTs. Okay, we're driving the, uh, oscillating MBT that we made, God, bleeding ages ago now. Uh, this is obviously meant to be French, so we're up against, uh, the tank that we've just been playing. And I'm gonna see how deadly they are <laughs> to fight. Uh, because we've seen how deadly they are to drive, and that is kind of five out of ten. Woo, that was close. Oh, I could have shot him there. Uh, uh, that turret is actually quite trolly. Uh, ooh, that was my radio gone. Gear off. Stop that. Oh, I penetrated. It didn't kill him, though. Uh, let's just get into the low ground. We want to get behind this hill. Oh, not enough. Not enough. Uh, oh, no, that was the upper plate. I want the lower plate. 
the 208's mobility is not what it once was. I need to redo its transmission since the uh, new mobility updates. Uh, well, let's wait for him to go down the hill and then go through the front plate. There we go. Oh god, they're attacking from everywhere. Uh, I am stuck with no tracks under an ally as the last 208. Let's see if we can at least put up a fight. <laughs> We're not going to get a, go down without one, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, I don't think they're ever going to work this one out. We're gonna, we'll, we'll call this a loss. We'll call, call this a win even for our our new tanks there. They, they definitely seem to have the upper hand <laughs> in this one. Uh, but, yeah... Ah, uh, we're gonna do one more, and this time, I am driving the new tank, we're gonna be fighting our British MBT, which I made really ages ago now, and a couple of the light tanks, what I stole this turret from, so, uh, hopefully, we do pretty well here, but, uh, that British MBT is, it's developed into something quite nasty, uh, <laughs> oh, damn, missed it, that could have been a kill, I think, if we'd actually hit the hull, uh, let's take out that light tank back there. Just the less guns, the better firing at me. And we've got the side of that MBT. Definitely going to take that. In fact, we've got the side of a couple of them. I don't know if they know I'm here. Oh, he's turning his front to me. Let's take out the light tank while he does that. Uh, no, he's hiding. That one is still alive. Oh, man. That was, that was no good. <laughs> no good at all. Didn't even penetrate. I think I hit the uh, dead tank in front of him, to be honest. And something's just killing killing the enemies. Oh, goodness me. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus. Uh, okay. It's one enemy left versus two of us, and I'm gonna see if I can get a little flank on, because he's hiding behind the wreck of one of his allies. Oh, never mind. Don't need to. My allies. <laughs> My allies done it. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, this has been a little proof of concept for a tank which can wibble wobble side to side. Uh, don't know if this is really <laughs> practical in any sense of the word, but if you can think of a reason for a tank to be able to uh, do this, then uh, feel free to put it to use. Um, you know, obviously I, I, I know why it does it in real life, but uh, this tank in game, not sure it's particularly useful, but uh, you know. Some of you are more creative than I, so perhaps you can turn this into a very valuable feature. But if not, uh, this has been a little fun proof of concept anyway, and uh, an easy, easy video on me while I'm a little bit dying. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, uh, so please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the future. Goodbye! And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons Badger, Caligo Drake, Camjam135, Cody N, DJ Pete, Gavoon, Gunmaster929, Sad Cat, Jasper Board, Jokey003, Just Casual T62M1, Last Legend11, Mark, Mildly Invested, Nicholas K, Rules Souls Blocking, Ryan Brody, The Keynesian Emperor, Tree Loving Mango, Zerashime, and Zite Wolverine. Thank you so much for your support.